All right, hello, everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and welcome to my February 2024 pickups. And I have quite a good stack of books here, and I thought this was only going to be a book haul, but I do have one video game, and at the very end of the month, I ended up getting two omnibus in the mail that I'll be doing overviews for within the next week. So let's start off with those first. I just want to say, though, that for the first one here, it is regarding Ultimate Spider-Man. Now, a lot of you that read comics already know, but for those of you that don't want to know what this book is, it does contain a major spoiler with just the title of this book. So if you don't want to know that, look away for about 10 seconds and mute it and then come back. So that is The Ultimate Spider-Man, The Death of Spider-Man, which is essentially volume five in the Ultimate Spider-Man line they're obviously not calling it that, but I think that we're probably going to get, because we have one to three, and I think we need probably four to bridge three to the death of Spider-Man. So this is a reprint uh, because they had done the Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 1, and then they had done uh, the death of Spider-Man afterwards, and we were missing quite a bit in between, but it looks like because that the Ultimate Spider-Man line is doing so well, we will be getting uh, a lot more in this universe. Along with... Ultimate X-Men Volume 2 Omnibus, which is the first time that this is getting a printing. And I, th these were the two ones that I, I was reading when the Ultimate lines were created, was Ultimate Spider-Man and uh, Ultimate X-Men. I, I think I got the first two trade paperbacks for both. So I read like issues number one to 12. And it's great because it's, it's a modern take on retelling some of these classic stories in a modern era where they can kind of branch out and do and differentiate uh, from the actual current runs because they can go back and look at some stuff and say, we're going to go a different route because we can. That's the whole point of the ultimate line. While also introducing everyone to all these characters without having to read like 50, 50 ish years worth of material. This is a great idea, I think. Let's go into the video game, the one video game that I have. That being Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, and this is the um, it's the collector's edition, deluxe edition, is what this is. It came with a few extra goodies. I did do a uh, overview or unboxing of this, and I'm enjoying this. This is a uh, third-person action RPG, JRPG, that is extremely colorful. That's probably what I enjoy quite a bit about this game, and the voice acting and English voice acting is really good too. Uh, kind of reminiscent of like a Tales game and just re really fun stuff if you like uh, action RPGs. Now let's dive into all the books because we have quite a few here. Let's start off with the Wheel of Time. So I ended up getting the hardcovers for uh, this is the Dragon Reborn. And we have the Shadow Rising, which is book three and book four. Shadow Rising is actually the biggest uh, Wheel of Time book. It's like nearly a thousand pages in hardcover. It's absolutely insane. And I don't even really read the Wheel of Time books in the hardcovers. I just collect them this way because I really like the hardcovers. And I like I like the... Because I grew up with these. I had the, the small mass, mark, mass market paperbacks. But I grew up with this kind of art for uh, the Wheel of Time. And I, I really like it. I know that's not necessarily for everyone, and I won't even say that I enjoy all the art. Some of the some of the things are questionable, but the I would say outside of the characters, everything that is drawn for like the locations where they are, like this is just some great stuff in the back here. I know that there's text, but that's just beautiful. Um, I really like the set pieces, the locations that are drawn. Uh, it's just sometimes the characters are a little bit strange or odd. Sometimes they're really good. Eye of the World to me is is great. And then Shadow Rising has some good stuff too. Just, oh, look at that. That's just really, really nice. But I like reading the uh, tr big, massive uh, trade paperbacks that they have for the Wheel of Time. It's just a lot easier to read. Let's dive into something that I have read, and I'm actually reading another one here too. So I did finish uh, The Teacher, which came out in February. Um, I'm kind of torn with this. It's kind of in the middle. I, I liked a lot of things, but there were some things I didn't like. And I will say that the things that I didn't enjoy might actually be something that some people can get past and, and still enjoy the book quite a bit. So... Some of the issues that I had, I don't think are going to be universal. And what I will say, even with those problems, 
I will definitely be reading more from this author because this was such an easy read. I just flew through this. It's like almost 400 pages and it just took two seconds because it's so, the writing just flows and just gets you going. And this, the, the, every, all the pacing is right. The flow is good. Everything just clicked. And even though the, the story and the characters weren't exactly what I was looking for, uh, I, I couldn't put it down. So that's something to say, something about a, an author that is doing a very good job. I will say that. Okay, I just want to get to, uh, well, yeah, let's just go with this. Next up is The uh, Talented Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett. This is, from what I gather, a mystery fantasy comedy. That's what it sounds like. It's an investigation, I think, in a fantasy world where there's two detectives that are kind of like Holmes and Watson. And I feel like there's some comedy aspects because the murder is somebody that blew up because the, a tree sprouted out from them. It's random as hell. And I'm totally all for that. This one, I'm not sure if, I, I think I got it in February, but I get so many books that I'm not really certain. This is uh, The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. And this is book one of The Burning, uh, which is going to be a trilogy. And actually the third book is coming out in the month of March. So kind of cool that I just got picked this up. And I am hoping to read this first book here uh, within uh, the month of March. So kind of fitting that uh, it's, finishing up and I'm just starting it. So if I, I do end up liking it, I will be reading the other two and picking them up uh, within the next few months. We also have another book that, that is getting is ending. This just came out in the month of February. That is The Trials of the Empire, Robert Richard Swan, book three of The Empire of the Wolf. I have read the first two books here, so I'm very much looking forward to finally finishing that. I've, I feel like I, I keep talking about this book. I just need to read it at this point in time. It's, it's on the TBR for this weekend, actually. One that I have started and I'm really liking it is The Boy Who Cried Bear by Kelly Armstrong. This is a sequel to Haven's Rock. Mystery thriller that has perfect atmosphere and tone for a mystery novel. It's exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm only like 20 pages into the book. And what they're potentially alluding to, and I don't think that this is actually going to be what's the case, and I won't spoil it, but there is something here within the first 20 pages that they allude to, and it's so me that I'm so excited. I don't think it's actually going to happen, but oh man, I'm 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 hooked already, and I enjoyed the first book. So, and last but not least, we do have end of story. I think that that's per very fitting for the end of this video. End of story by AJ Finn, which is another mystery novel. Uh, I talked talked a little bit more about all of these books. Uh, in my uh, TBR for March because I'm going to be tackling quite a few of these books, almost all of them actually in the month of March. So if you want more information, go check out my TBR for February. So that's it. That's all my pickups for the month of February. Thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you picked up and uh, we'll talk to you next time. You have been bearded in. Beardage.